Hello and welcome to the Voice of Faith. Today, Wednesday, we come to you to bring to you the Word of God that produce miracles, that bless our lives. Stay tuned with us because today you will learn how to use your faith. If you need help, call us at 2827 2525. And the doors of the UCKG Help Center are open today, throughout the day. We'll have our Bible study today at 9 o'clock in the morning, 11 a.m., 3 p.m., and 9 p.m. today. Okay, so if you're watching me from Hong Kong, you can leave your place and come to one of our meetings. If you need prayer or counseling, you can also just drop by. And we'll be right here waiting for you, okay? So if you have been knocking on many doors and all the doors are closed, this door is open, okay? Here's our address. We are on the eighth floor of the Trade Square building in Changsha Wan. So you can visit us here in Kowloon side, MTR exit B, Changsha Wan, MTR exit B. Okay, very well, my friends. We are going to meditate here with you in a word that will bless your life. Let's read together from the book of Matthew, chapter 17, verse 16. The Bible says, So I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. This is a father speaking to the Lord Jesus, and this father said to Jesus, I brought him, my son, to your disciples but they could not cure him, could not heal him. This father had a son who was demon-possessed. His son was suffering. And he didn't know what to do anymore to help his son. So he brought his son to Jesus, to Jesus' disciples first. First, he brought his son to Jesus' disciples. But Jesus' disciples, in that moment, they were not yet uh, experienced. They were beginners. And they didn't know how to help the boy. Maybe it was for the first time that they encountered a situation like that. And they could not help the boy. Eventually, they brought the boy to Jesus. Of course, the father persisted, persevered, and brought the boy to Jesus Christ. And Jesus healed the boy, delivered him, and explained as well to the disciples that that kind of evil would not come out except through prayer and fasting. And then they learn the lesson that there are certain problems that are solved in a different way, by faith, but also it needs more prayer and fasting. And that's what we are doing for our families. We're going to be praying and fasting and presenting our vow on behalf of our family this weekend as we are going to have this special Sunday of Master, I brought you my child. As we bring our family to God and through prayer fastings, through our vows, 
God is going to do in your family what nobody could do. What no friends could do. Neighbors. Specialists. Perhaps you brought your son to an albulario to help him. Or your family member to, you know, to a place to help them, for them to change rehabilitation center because of his drug addiction or whatever addiction they may have. Or you sent your son to your, to your parents so they could be with their grandparents. But the problem was not solved. You try to change school and you are doing your best but the problem is not being solved this father as we can see here he brought his son to Jesus disciples but not to Jesus and because he didn't bring his son straight to Jesus the problem was not solved and sometimes you, you try to solve your problems asking help from friends, neighbors, and then you bring the situation to someone and ask them to help. They cannot help. And you bring this situation to someone else. They cannot help. Some people, they even bring up the problem on social media and they post their problems on Facebook and other social media platform. And the problems are not solved. Why don't you bring this situation to the Lord Jesus Christ? Stop wasting time. Stop wasting your energy. Bring your problems to Jesus. Bring your burdens to Him. Your worries. I'm not saying that your family member is your problem, but I'm saying the problem that they are facing, the difficulty, the challenge that they have in life. Perhaps an addiction. Perhaps an illness, an incurable disease. Unemployment. Maybe your family member or you yourself. You cannot find a job. You cannot solve your marriage problems. You keep fighting and fighting with your spouse. There is no peace, no unity. There is no understanding. And you're, you brought your problem to a counselor. You brought your problem to your in-laws. And they were not able to help you. They could not help you, though they wanted to help. We may have friends, neighbors that they want to help, but there are problems that they cannot solve. And what we need to do? We need to bring it to Jesus. Bring it to the Lord Jesus. And when you bring to Jesus, He will help you. If you continue reading the passage later in your house from Matthew 17, the other verses, you will see that the Lord Jesus healed the child, because for him, there is no impossible, my friends. There is no impossible with God. God can heal your family member. He can deliver your family member. He can set them free. He can change the story of your life as long as you believe. When you manifest your faith, the miracle will happen in your life. Amen. So, as we are going to have this special Sunday here at the UCKG, we invite you all to bring, bring your children, bring your, your family member, bring your situation to God, and the Lord is going to help you to solve this problem by faith.
You can also bring with you a bottle of water to receive the miracle drop this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. The time is there. You can also scan the QR code to know more about this special purpose of faith. All right? Very well. If you believe, all things are possible to those who believe. And you can receive your miracle in your life and in the life of your fam family member. All you need to do is to take action and bring your family to the Lord. Bring your challenges to Him. Don't bring it to others. Don't take it to other people. Bring to the one that can help you. Bring it to the altar because there you will find the answers that you need. All right. The doors of the UCKG are open and you can visit us any time of the day and especially in the weekend in one of our services. All right. We are preparing ourselves as well for the 21 day fast of Daniel starting on Monday. Monday, now March 11 to 31st of March, the Easter Sunday, Sunday of Resurrection. It's going to be 21 days, 21 days that we are going to be seeking the Spirit of God. You know, my friends, that the biggest problem of the human beings is the lack of God's presence within them. If you do not have the Holy Spirit, you are lost. So I invite you to come this weekend to learn more how to join the fast of Daniel and enter into this journey of 21 days seeking the presence of God. When you receive the Holy Spirit, you will be a new person, a new creation. Okay? Find out more in one of our meetings, any time of the day. God bless you abundantly. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.